Uh, hello people, the PPT Pro here. So as requested on my IG account, uh, here is the full version of this tutorial. So buckle up and let's roll. So first thing to do is to choose a color palette from a great website which called Color Hunt. So I have a special way to grab this color palette. I'm gonna take a screenshot for this color palette as you can see. Then I'm gonna copy it to PowerPoint directly. So here's our color palette ready. And now I'm gonna insert a big title. Let's go to insert then text box click on the slide frame then add tab sport icons now i'll edit the title make it all upper cases then increase its size then i'll choose the general sense semi bold as a font lovely Let's increase its size a little bit. Nice. So now I'll change its color to a beautiful gray color. Like that. Great. So let's move to the making of the cards. I'll insert a rounded corner rectangle. Like that. Nice. I'll try to make it a little bit taller nice then uh, i'll hit control then drag to copy it another one and another one did you cut it yeah so i'll try to center them like that so i think they are far from each other Try to bring them close. Then I'll distribute them equally by going to align, then distribute horizontally. Nice. So, since they are all selected, let's remove the outlines. Then change the color to a gradient fill. So, this one is already set, so I'll show you how to set it from the beginning. So select that arrow, go to the eyedropper, then pick a color from your color palette. Like that. Then go to the second arrow, choose the same color, then make it darker on one of the sides doesn't matter and the angle make it 50 degree so to give it that lovely gradient color so now let's add the name of the athletes on each card i'll start with the legend lebron james the big guy yeah lebron james then I'll change its font to General Sense, semi bold as always. And put it at the top of the card. Nice. Let's change its color to the white color. So it will give it that uh, a good looking with the background nice so i hit control shift then drag to the second card then change the name into the second legend cristiano ronaldo the soccer legend <laughs> as you say americans the football legend and i'll make them a little bit smaller so cristiano ronaldo can fit into the card nice then i repeat the same process with the other names mikey phillips the swimming legend 
and Djokovic I think I always yeah Djokovic I always get confused with his name yeah so those four legends are all set and now I'll try to insert the quotes so I'll copy LeBron James name control and drag and replace it with the quote sign and I'll make it considerably big to give it that good looking nice then I'll copy and drag to the other cards nice now it's time for the text of the quotes I'll change its color font to general sense so we can differentiate from the title so here I want to win some time I'll copy them from the already done presentation so I leave you with this sped up and come back when I finish see ya hello i'm back so when we finished with the cards let's add the pictures of our legends of course lebron james let's start with the goat here i'm gonna match the size of the card of course like that then i crop it as exactly as the card like that from the left and from the right after that we need to take care of those edges let's choose a rounded corner rectangle shape for the picture and here i'll adjust the corners of that picture well this is it and I'll repeat the same steps for the other pictures and I'm sad to tell you that I need to go and leave you with the sped up. I know you will miss me but this is life. See you. Don't cry. hello people i'm here again i know you are happy to see me me too so let's duplicate that slide then go to lebron james card zoom in a little bit rotate it like that and then bring the picture to the top like that then rotate it 
do some adjustments let's preview it i think it's so close to cristiano ronaldo card so i'll move it away a little bit i think this is better so let's duplicate again the first slide then move to the second car the cr7 card nice let's do the same process as lebron james card so as you notice this is sped up but i want to stay with you this time i really missed you the last one so about the rotation you can choose wherever you want so don't copy me man i'm kidding so yeah so this is the, the novak djokovic card so the design is completed now let's go to the actions so let's add a action to each rectangle of the card to do that go to insert action mouse hover hyperlink slide then choose the slide related to that card then i repeat the same process with the other cards action mouse hover hyperlink slide then choose the slide related to that at least so i leave you with another sped up but this time you will be fine it will be short see you there see it was quick <laughs> anyway so here i'm gonna hit ctrl a to select all slides then add the morph transition then i'll change the duration to 1.24 so let's try it nice so the second card won't work because it has no action so what i'm gonna do here i'll copy the cards with the already set action on them from the first slide to each slide so for lebron james slide i'll copy those three cards remove those three then paste them here and for the second athlete which is cristiano ronaldo i'll copy those three remove those who are similar to them then copy our cards with the action on them so i'll do this for the other slides this one too nice and the final one those three and bingo everything is all set thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so for those who are all waiting for my course i know it's been a long time i have a good news for you the course will be released soon and it's all finished so stay tuned be safe and be creative. See you later.